What is up, everybody? My name is the Sour Slug, and today I am back playing Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. And you probably thought the series was dead, so did I. But I'm back, and I want to finish this so I can start playing other games because I only want to do like a couple dedicated series at a time. And last time, a bunch of Pokemon died. No one watched it anyway, so whatever. Um, Kulava died, and. I had a uh, ball toy die, so now I've got Ace instead. I've got Pi and Mr. Mime as replacement guys, and they're kind of lower level, but I'm gonna send them out and then switch. Hopefully, I actually actually do the Mr. Mime first. Oh, that's Mrs. Mime because his name is supposed to be Mr. Mime. And when looking through, I've got a video coming out on like a different kind of video later. But when looking through the little settings on the game, uh, the frame skip. If I turn that off. If I turn off limit frames, um, frame weight, frame rate, the game, <laughs> it was crazy fast, and it's really smooth, but apparently, I didn't know this, the, um, music and stuff is all, like, movement, animations, everything's tied to, well, and obviously, but, like, the music is tied to the frame rate, so the faster frame rate, the faster the music. Might just be the emulator, but that's still weird. So, this is an uncapped frame rate. Ugh, my voice then. But, yeah. Not gonna play like that. So this is where we were. We killed the Sudowoodo that was there. I think. And then... Now we're up here. And Route 37. I can catch something here. Okay, what are we gonna find? Ooh, Snow Runt. I've actually got one of those named Runt. Guess we have to catch it though, and if, if if it turns out we're already on this route, then I'll just release it. But it's a higher level than the one I have, so I really doubt that it was already on the route. Oh, I didn't even realize my level. Okay, bite. That's a little bit scary, but I think I can take another one. Okay. Confused. Nice. Hopefully it hits itself. Come on. Nice. Awesome. I'm actually going to turn on a timer real quick. So let me turn my phone volume down so it doesn't accidentally make any noise. I just don't want the video to go too long. Okay. Now, Pokeball. Uh, Pokeball, I'll just use a normal one. If it breaks out once, I'm just going to run. I don't really care that much. Because I've already got a snow run. Except this one's female. So, I don't know. I don't know if Runty is, um, a Runt is a, a male. That's what I named the other one. Yep, gotta give him a nickname. That's the rules. Let's name this one Don. Or that's Bon. That's not Don. Then I'll name him Her. I'll name her Runty. Sort of sounds like a familiar name from a certain game. Okay, Pokemon can't do anything if they are asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. I tried to click that with my mouse. That's not going to work. Psychic Greg. Okay, Greg. Vulpix. That actually makes sense. Because I'm pretty sure these are... No, these are randomized, but Vulpix can learn um, psychic moves. Confusion. Ah, yes, Confuse Ray. Well, I don't know if it can learn psychic moves, actually. I just know it can have Confuse Ray. No. Ninetales can definitely have some psychic moves. Nice, we broke through. And that was really weak, so I'm going to switch to Ace. Because Ace is a water type. If anyone knows why I name him Ace, please tell me. Because I know why, I just don't know if you knew why. Okay, Water Gun. Dang it, Confuse right again. Surprised he didn't actually use Confuse Ray last turn, because a lot of times when you switch out, they just decide to predict that you're switching out and use the move that they just used that wouldn't have any effect if you didn't switch out. Dang it, that's so weak. Oh, he is level 17. She's level 17, I didn't even realize that. And Will-O-Wisp, confused, burned. Good thing I'm using special attacks, because otherwise that burn would be, like, not good. Okay, Water Gun again. 
Let's see, what's this damage? Okay, red. So one more water gun, but I might get hurt in confusion. And along with that burn, we could take some really nasty damage. Okay, I was hoping that I was hoping that um, quick attack would do low damage. I thought there was a chance it could do a lot. He's still alive, isn't he? Nope. Okay. Thought I still saw his health bar. I flicked a button that did a thing. Nice. Greg is dead. Mother, please. Thank you. Ooh. Apricorn. I didn't want to say him because I didn't want to say him wrong. Ooh, a BLK Apricorn. Interesting. Let's get this blue Apricorn. Give it to me. Okay, BLU. Never heard of that kind of sandwich. And then... O-R-G. Red. Okay, it's a red apricorn. Never mind. Looks like orange. Could be or NG for the thing. I don't know. Route 36. I actually... Oh, Pokeball. I did not see that there. So, that heals 200 HP. One second. Sneezed. But I muted my mic, so that's all good. Just gotta make sure that... Okay, yeah. Didn't want to backwards mute. Like, unmute myself for the sneeze or something. Okay. Tori, let's battle. Till. Alright, I'm bringing out Pokemon. Okay, twins. Tori and Till. Gligar, Gligar and Gligar. Okay. Sunshine, not a very good match against this. Um... Nora's Mr. Mime, so I'm actually going to switch out both of them to Little Mac, and Sunshine's actually going to have to stay in. Unfortunately, I are they ground type? I really cannot remember, but I'm just going to say they are. And they're both female. Not that that matters. I just noticed it when I was looking. Okay, they're going to use Quick Attack, so that's good. I was, I was thinking they're going to use Bite or something. I don't even know if they can learn that, but it looks like they can. And it seems like they can't. So, that's why I switched out Mr. Mime. And that was probably the worst tackle I've ever seen. I don't think this karate chop's going to be very effective. And I'm going to try to use Thundershock because my tackle was worthless. If they keep attacking Little Mac, this is going to be a tough battle. Do they only know Quick Attack or is that like this team's strategy? Nice! Static. Please. Dang it, not very effective. Still did more than tackle though. And I knew it wouldn't affect it. Unfortunate. Let's just... No, Foresight would not work. Karate Chop you, and I guess I'll just keep tackle attacking this one. Actually, I should go for one. That's just less damage per turn. Nice, now they're both paralyzed. Awesome, that one's paralyzed and can't move. That's great. Karate Chop? Nice. That could have been a critical. That was actually some really good damage. What item does Little Mac have, if any? Because it looks like he's got a metronome. From... Because that was much stronger than the first one. Or he just got maximum damage, that one, and, like, minimum damage, the first one. Okay, that was both quick attacks on just Sunshine, so that's why I'm targeting one Gligar. So that I can hopefully kill that one, and then not have any problems. Okay. Hopefully that Karate Chop takes it out. Because that'd be really annoying if it didn't. Because I just attacked the other Gligar. And they're both still targeting Sunshine, I think. Okay, that one's gone. Nice. One more Gligar. And I believe this is their only Pokemon. That they only have one. Tackle Attack. Awesome. Karate Chop. And Tackle Attack. Let's just finish this battle up. Nice. Paralyzed. See, I knew even when they were paralyzed that Quick Attack was still going to go first. Because it's got priority. Last turn, and that was some not very worthwhile experience. Please don't critical hit. Okay, I thought I was going to critical hit, get me down to red, and give me another unusable Pokemon. Until I got to a Pokemon Center. Nice, Mr. Mime's level 11. Ooh, Encore. Uh, let's see, what moves does Mr. Mime have? What does Meditate do? 
attack stat. Why would I want to raise an attack stat on a special attacking Pokemon? So, any move is better than that. I understand Meditate on something like Medichan. Or Medichamp, or whatever. Like, with, that makes sense. But, on Mr. Mrs. Mime, it does not. Okay, Mrs. Mime, you're kind of creepy back there. So... Let's put in Pi. Pi hasn't got anything. This is another double battle, actually. So, I'm gonna do some potions and stuff if I have any. Got one potion. I can use that on Little Mac. And Super Potion. Use that on Sunshine. Awesome, 40 points. Could have been useful somewhere else, but that's okay. And then I'll switch out Ace for Sunshine. Okay. I believe Ace is the same level as Pi. So, both level 12. Oh, you're a cute little trainer. Why don't you battle me? Is your friend going to say the same thing? Hey, hey there, you young trainer. Won't you battle with me? Sure thing. Beauty Callie and Beauty Cassandra. Okay, Spinda and Snubble. Okay. Wait. Did I randomize their Pokemon? I'm just thinking because that last couple of trainers had two Blygars. And that doesn't seem right. Okay, why well, did not check your moves? You're not even going to try to attack. I'm switching you out instantly for Little Mac. And Ace, you can keep fighting. Um, I'll go for Water Gun on Snubble. There we go. Dang! Holy cow. Ace almost died there. That was. That could have been so bad. Oh, the burn. The burn. Okay. Karate Chop Spinda. You're out of here, Ace. You're done. Just, sorry. Uh, the stubs. Shift. Holy cow. What are you trying to do, Ace? Trying to make me lose another partner? Hey, Karate Chop. Kill that Spinda, please. Kill that Spinda. Kill that Spinda. Thank you. Holy crap. Uproar. That was a lot of, um, XP to go around. Oh, they have more- holy- oh, jeez. Okay, well, we're instantly gonna go and kill that Hoodoo. Because I really can't be having that Hoodoo. I know that's- oh, no, no, it's a normal hit. Thank you, holy crap, if that Hoodoo got a hit on Stubbs, it could have been really bad. Ooh, Stubbs is level 20, nice. Razor Leaf, critical hit, can we get it? Yes! Or, that wasn't critical. That was just because Stubbs is strong. Okay, now no one else is getting experience. I don't know if I said this before. I changed out the thing where it asks you to switch. Because that's kind of cheating. And that Pidgeot should probably go down this turn. I don't really see how it would... Yeah, live. Um, I left a Flying-type Pokemon against two Pokemon that is super effective against. Now, I didn't think about it because I didn't think they were going to die, and they didn't, but I still did it, which is not smart. Cool. Wow, you're strong, thanks. Pretty much the best. And next town. Let's heal up in this Pokemon Center. Never mind. What do you want? Hi, Bill. Oh, it's Bill. Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, slug, eh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system to transfer Pokemon, but it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, do you know in the Hoenn region, this girl named Lanette from Hoenn made the Pokemon storage system easier to use? My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry back onto the Golden Round and see my folks. Bye bye So you just walk up to the desk and don't heal anything? I see you, Bill. 
Okay, guys, I know it's only like 13 minutes or something, but that's gonna be the end of this episode here. If you liked it, hit that like button. And if you don't like this series and just want me to kill it now, just tell me in the comments and I won't be too sad. See you all, maybe in the next video. Goodbye.